Good day, good day once again, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back together. All right, so we did 6.1 in our previous video. So now we are going to be continuing on the technical maths paper 2 grade 10 exemplar, right? We are looking at 6.2 this time around. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you are part of this family, right? Then let's dive right into it. They say to us in the diagram below, we've got ABCD, uh, which is a quadrilateral with interior angles uh, in terms of x okay now they're telling us that uh, calculate uh, giving a reason the value of x all right so we've got the interior angles of this now there are two ways in which we could do that so firstly in this quadrilateral that we are given we always know that the sum of our interior angles should give us 360, right? So let's take that. So that means that AX plus 2 degrees plus 4X. So this is going to give us angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 right so those are the interior angles of a quad okay so we said ax plus 2 plus 4x plus 2 plus we've got 5x minus 2 and finally, we've got plus uh, x minus 2, and this equal to 360, okay? Right, so let's take all the like terms. So we've got AX, 8x plus 4x, which is 12x, plus 15x, that's 17x, plus x, so that gives me 18x, right, so we've added those 2 plus 2 minus 2 minus 2 so those two actually cancel each other out so 18x is equal to 360 and if I divide both sides by 18 all right and uh, it looks like this is going to give us 20 x is equal to 20 degrees right now let's say um now they say hence show that a b c d is a trapezium now firstly uh, why would it be a trapezium i can see that uh, none of the sides are equal right but it looks like a b and c d might be parallel okay so how are we going to prove that they are parallel? Well, I know that co-interior angles would be supplementary, right? So it means if I take the angle B plus C, it should give me 180. But also if I take A and D, that should be 180 because those would be co-interior angles. So let's do that. So let's say if I take A plus d okay so that's 8x i know x is 20 plus 2 plus x minus 2 which is 20 minus 2 okay so what does that give us Uh, sorry, I made a mistake there. That's 8 multiplied by 20 plus 2. So 2 and minus 2 cancel each other out. 8 multiplied by 20, that gives us 160 plus 20. That will be 180. Okay? So what does therefore mean? What does that therefore mean? It means that uh, A and D must be co-interior. Okay? So therefore... It means that AB must be parallel to CD, right? 
Okay, and what would be the reason for that? Because co-interior angles are supplementary. Right, so co-interior angles gave us a sum of 180. And please, nothing wrong if you went for B and C. You probably would reach the same conclusion. So therefore, it means that A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Why? Because we've only got one pair of parallel lines. Now, if you try to add uh, D plus C, right? So D plus C, in this case, this would give us 20 minus 2 plus 5 times 20 minus 2. Uh, this would be that and that cancel. You've got 20 plus 100. That would be 120. So therefore, it tells you that AD will not be parallel. Is not parallel. Can I write it this way? Not parallel to... BC. So we've only got one pair of parallel lines, and so that's why it is a trapezium. Right, ladies and gents, that is really how the cookie crumbles. I will be uh, looking at question seven next, but we'll see that and on our next video. For now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop shop.